Quentin Local 6 goes in depth now. Imagine having to jump on an airplane just to see your spouse or your children. It's a reality for millions of Americans living in commuter relationships. Right. Experts say it's the economy that's forcing families into long distance love. Each night, Nancy comes home to an empty house. She eats dinner alone and watches TV, but Nancy isn't single. She's living in a commuter marriage with her husband 3,000 miles away. The first time we were apart, it was for about a month, and it was hard. I was so lonely, and I know he was lonely. They're not alone. Experts say the shaky job market has led to an increase of couples being forced to live apart. It does affect marriages and it does create more commuter marriages. People have drive longer distances to get a job. People are laid off from work and they have to relocate to get a job. According to the last census, three and a half million couples are now living in commuter marriages, and experts think that number is still climbing, especially with the shaky housing market. The real estate market is really depressed, so the other partner ends up staying behind until the house sells. But commuting can be expensive. A recent survey found only a quarter of businesses offer assistance to commuting employees. If it's a job versus no job, you're probably better off commuting. Uh, but commuting is expensive. But technology can keep you connected with your family. Today, we can stay in touch minute by minute. We've got Skype and cell phones and texting. And this constant communication is key. It's really good for the person far away to feel more connected. And um, it's also good for the person at home to feel like the person who's away understands what's going on. There can even be surprising benefits to a commuter arrangement. It can refresh a marriage that's stale because people have been together all the time and there's nothing new happening. And suddenly you get that rush of, wow, I've missed you. Nancy agrees, saying absence really has made her heart grow fonder. It's a honeymoon. <laughs> we don't focus on the negative because we don't have time to. That's an interesting perspective. A little time apart doesn't always really sound like a bad thing to me, necessarily. <laughs> you know, the economy isn't the only thing to blame for an increase in these commuter marriages. Mm. Experts say that an increase of people meeting online in a more global economy also leads to that long-distance love. All right. Makes mm -hmm. sense.